All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with some rank four Scorpion Alliance War gameplay. Now, all of these fights were taken from the past season. We've been taking like a relaxed season. I haven't been planning anything. Just kind of been going in, clearing the map, having a fun time. I've been using Agent Venom and Scorpion and Craven for most of the wars this season, right? And we've been having a very fun time doing so. So the majority of the fights in this video are completely unboosted. There are a few, like the gray boosts, you'll see one or two fights have a power shot one boost. And there's like one or two fights that have like a 10% green boost on because we're pushing the last three wars of the season. But regardless, let's start jumping in immediately here today. We have my favorite fight in the video coming up first, Node 54 Mango Eggnog. Now, this is the fight I've taken with Spidey 2099 10,000 billion times, right? And it's always like super Super fun and super quick because Spidey controls his power. Now, Scorpion doesn't really do that, but what he does do is something absolutely incredible. So, from his SIG ability, we're able to do this block unblockable special attacks against non skill champions. And oh my god, look at the damage that we are doing, dude. Not even to mention the taunt is going to decrease the damage on that special, too. And the block efficiency is going to be very, very huge as well. So, Scorpion, absolutely amazing for Node 54 Mangog, dude. Absolutely love it, dude. He was just so good there. So, 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 so good. Really, just an absolute top option for that node defender combo, man. Up next, we have the same node, Aspect of Revolution, right? Special two unblockable, 330,000 health mojo boss. Not a boss, mini boss, right? Um, so let's jump in here today with our good friend Scorpion, okay? And let's see what we can do, what kind of damage we can do against this guy, man, all right? So, of course, we are running the Suicide Masteries, but we go immune to the poison when we pick either Shock or Rupture, okay? We're going to bait out of the Special 2, and now we're going to charge up that heavy attack, man. Here we go. Bam! Six charges turned into 12. Torment debuffs. We got the Taunt on Mojo. We got the little Intercept there. We're going in. Look at the damage back on the Sting Burst. Now, the Anti-Life Field is not active, but it is about to be active, so now we're going to be a little bit careful to avoid the Anti-Life Field, but we are good to go, because at this point, now we're going to go in all right and now we want to go for that special two no need to charge up we have 14 stings and they're about to explode bam that is it oh my god oh my god guys just just crazy stuff right there man the damage potential on this guy is truly nuts so this was a Rintra on path two in section one strike counter fury or whatever what i love about scorpion He's the only champion in the game who's flat out immune to rupture debuffs, and that is one of Rintra's main defensive threats. He has a few, but that's the big one. Now, this guy was running suicides here, right? So, like, yeah, you know, he's killing himself a little bit faster, right? He's, we're getting a little bit of help there, but I mean, like, he's down to 14% health already. Like, we're about to go for a special one again. We're not even heavy charging against this guy, right? The special one into, like, a sting explosion would have killed him even if he was not running suicides with out a shadow of a doubt man so yeah rintra scorpion is a great option now this fight oh my god guys this fight is absolutely nuts um this is one of the fights where i was running a 10 percent attack boost on it was from last war so um yeah as you can see the pi just 23,000. we're not running big boosts or anything here this is path eight in section two okay path eight in section two rich get richer but this is like a path defender and let's watch how we just nuke this man Okay, this guy is not running suicides at all. So this is just full out defender, right? All right, we're gonna look, first of all, man, look at the freaking stings, what they're doing when they use special attacks, but it doesn't even matter because we're gonna go right in for a big special two here. Oh my God, guys, it's literally just make it to a special two and they're nuked. Let's watch it again. Now, the Agent Venom synergy is so incredibly powerful for Scorpion, man. Every sting debuff on the Defender increases our attack by 10%. That is nuts, man. That is a lot of attack increase, man, from that synergy. Not to mention, Agent Venom is an absolute freaking beast for Alliance War as well with this Trinity. Here we have a Doctor Doom power snack, no 22 little mini boss here, okay? So, 
We're not immune to buffs, right? So they usually be, I'll throw like a Spidey 299 here or even Quicksilver is good here. He can't get the dexterity buff, right? So yeah, there's definitely a lot of great options. Scorpion's also a pretty decent option, man, for this node, not gonna lie, okay? You gotta watch out for power snack. You gotta watch out a little bit for backup recovery, but we do have the Petrify on the special two to help control the backup recovery. We're gonna hold the special two. We're gonna go for it now. We have five stings going, 14 torment charges from 70% down to 31%. And now Dr. Doom's gonna go for a special two, down to 23%. We are still at 100% health. However, here we did get hit by that little incinerate and the scorpion sense saved us there. So we made a little, little mistake there. But check out the sick ability, giving us some healing from his willpower healing. That is pretty nice, man. So yeah, that could have been a full yellow bar finish if we didn't mess up. Just really solid damage output there, man. 250,000 health against Dr. Doom. Rank four, Dr. Doom, by the way. So up next, Conflictor Power Efficiency. Defenders' special attacks cost 50% less power. Every time there's a debuff on them, they're gonna gain power. This is the type of fight that, like, Scorpion should not be good for. But he's so good for it, okay? So, first of all, man, right away with class advantage with the Agent Venom synergy, 8k medium attacks dude like what? are we kidding man or are we actually joking like look at this this guy's already down to 58 percent health when he throws a special one here he's down to 30 he lost 20 percent of his health now those like bursts of sting damage when they use special attacks it's like nice when you're doing like big end game content with like 600 000 health pool bosses and everything but when you're doing stuff like battlegrounds or like alliance war health pools man like it's really noticeable, like taking off chunks of like 20, 30,000 damage just on special attacks. Like watch right here, he would have died from the special too, but we're gonna go in for a combo just to finish it off, man. Really solid stuff. Just really solid stuff. What is next? What do we got going on? Oh yeah, so now we have a path to, I believe I was running a 10% attack boost. This was from last war. So just so you know, 10% attack boost, man. Which, which doesn't mean crap when, when, when you get 10% per debuff sting on the opponent from Adrian Venom. It's so funny. It's like, what a waste of a boost. That's literally one sting debuff I'm, I'm, I'm boosting for here with Scorpion, man. But I love champions that you like, you don't need to boost big for when it's like, when it like, does it make sense to boost big? You love to see it, you know? So here, what I'm gonna be doing here is, 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 is strike counter fury or whatever. I'm gonna go for the special one. And look, he's down below 50% health, man. And yeah, I think this guy's running suicides too or whatever, but he lost some health from, from the bleed and lost 5% from recoil. But that's fine because he, he's about to die anyway, regardless of if he was running suicides or not. I mean, like, come on, come on. Up next, we have a Juggernaut. And uh, Juggernaut, not the best defender anymore. And if you have debuffs, especially non-damaging debuffs, you're gonna have a good time. Okay, this is brute force power focus one, and of course with Scorpion here, he's gonna he's gonna have a really good time. Now Scorpion does have a uh, synergy that allows him to have a slow debuff on the heavy attack, it's just not really necessary anymore against this guy, as you can see, right? Look, let's go right in. We're gonna go for the torment debuff. However, I do miss it. Oh my god, he actually dexed me. He's got the dexterity buff. That's all right. We're gonna put the torment charge on. There we go. All right, he's activating the gem of Sidorak once again, so he could go unstoppable here. I do believe, but we're gonna just keep. It moving we're gonna bait out the special one right we're gonna go for a special two we're gonna go for a special two what are we doing here eight stings eight stings oh he's dead he is so dead man oh my god he's more than dead he's done so up next we have an immortal hulk okay 338,000 health on conflictor prowess puncture combat deja vu Another fight that Scorpion should just not be good for. Conduit as well, man. It's just like... I... I'm... I... I there, 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 it's, <laughs> there are so many things he's good at doing, man. It's like... when Sometimes now, like, I've been assigning the past... The, la the latest three wars of the season. And it's like... I don't know who to send here. It's like, oh, I have Scorpion with me. All right, I'll just put myself down with Scorpion. And, he, and he's usually fine. He's usually fine because there are so many different ways you can play him, man. Here we lost the torment charges, unfortunately, and we actually triggered a uh, conduit, but that's okay. Looks like the sting burst is uh is getting around it there, it looks like. But the basic attacks, he's definitely healing back from the shock. 
Um, but yeah, one thing that's great about Scorpion, I've said this so many times, but he has three different damage sources. He has Poison, which is direct damage. He has Shock, which is energy, and Rupture, which is physical. So they heal from the energy damage, um, but the physical damage is just fine. So the Ruptures is not energy. So that's not going to trigger Conduit there, which is very, very nice, right? So at this point, we're just kind of moving along. We're just kind of giving him power, letting him sting himself down. And what's great about that, against Immortal Hulk here, is that it's not like Contact Attack Special 2, okay, with only three ruptures. Sure, that's only going to do a little bit of damage here. Yeah, I'm at 12%. Uh, what's great about um, the Sting is doing damage here is that he's not going to be getting Gamma. And when he's not getting Gamma, that means he won't go Immortal. And that means we don't have to worry about that whatsoever in this fight, right? Look at this. He's at 10 persistent charges, 7% health left, and that's going to be it. 1% health. See you later, man. Boom, hit him with the tail. Smack him with the tail. Up next, man, node 48 mortar. There are so many nodes here. There are so many nodes. Feet of Vigilance 1, power efficiency again. Missing in action, return policy. Lots of nodes. This is a tough mini boss right here, man. Basically, whenever a, um, a buff expires off the defender, if we don't do a heavy attack or a special attack, we're gonna get a falter passive, right? And that's what makes Mordo so good here. He gets the natural buffs, right? If you have to miss Mordo, he's gonna be able to get the power gain going up, right? But what we want to do here, essentially, is keep allowing him to have power and just be patient. Be patient with this power bar. Be patient with the with the power gain buff that he has and just let the power stings do some work for us here, okay? Now, we'd love to get rid of that power gain buff, but unfortunately, as you can see, we had the falter on us. And look at that, the falter is on us again, but we're still being patient. We're gonna bait out a special two here there we go and we have to falter again though man uh oh uh oh this is not looking good so far right but we timed that perfectly we were able to go in there is now two ruptures on him stinging him down right he's got a vigilance passive cool we're gonna go in here and we don't want to knock him down because of conduit we want to just keep going with the sting debuffs and it's working out so far his health was below 40 percent he has six stings oh my god now right there going for a special two probably would have killed him but i was looking out for the falter debuff there i wanted to play the super duper safe and we're just about got him down okay baiting out a special two only took off a little bit of sting we got the falter going again man like i said this is a tough matchup here it's a tough fight right but it's one of those things where like scorpion is definitely probably not the optimal matchup here you know but in a world where spidey was banned that's why i like to send here right also, She-Hulk was good with um, hashtag Defiance. Maybe not so much anymore when she can now gain buffs and feed Mystic Dispersion. Um, but Scorpion is doing a pretty darn good job. And again, this is unboosted right here, right? We're going to go for a special two, and that's absolutely it, right? Really good stuff. And we pretty, I think we gained health, actually. We gained health in that fight, which is seriously, like, not too bad. All right, I have one more fight to show you guys from a war that happened just today. All right, this is Man-Thing on node... 19 or 20 it's like masochism strike counter whatever and the node where like we get uh, uh shocks on us if like they have an armor up or whatever but we're shock immune anyway but anyway scorpion absolutely phenomenal man thing counter dude just really 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 good for him okay we got the rupture free fight on so we're immune to shock we're immune to poison okay and now i don't really mind the masochism here because look we're running despair we have so many debuffs it's totally fine look at the damage from the freaking stings dude now now, Mystic Dispersion is definitely something to keep an eye on here as well. But one thing about Mystic Dispersion, it's feeding their power. That means we're going to be baiting more special attacks as well. So it's kind of debatable if you want to purposefully feed Mystic Dispersion or not when you're using Scorpion here. But look at this, man. Look, at this, we're at 100% health. Man-Thing is now down to 9% health, and that is just it. That is just going to be it, man. Like, really just efficient absolutely efficient an absolutely bonkers takedown man of a, of a very tough fight honestly this is a tough fight it's still in a lot of kills a lot of really great players using optimal matchups man uh i bomb with defiance uh, omega red right uh overseer is really good here as well scorpion just nukes like you don't have to worry about anything man just crazy stuff. So yeah, dude, literally since like the moment that I've ranked for the Scorpion, dude, I've just been using him and Agent Venom everywhere, dude. Like these, they're the two of them together, man, and Craven as well coming along. 
I just absolutely love the, the, these together and they're so good for Alliance War. The health pools are, are relatively small in war and they do so much damage that you just nuke through everything without even worrying about anything at all, man. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old like. Let me know what you think about seeing some uh, crazy rank four scorpion just dominance in Alliance War in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos just like this coming to you in the future. I'll be seeing you around, man.